It figures to be a wet one, but we'll have baseball for you on MLB Network nonetheless. Today, it's the second of this three-game series between the Miami Marlins and the Philadelphia Phillies. Live baseball here on MLB Network, and it comes your way next. Hector Neris is ready to go as he's on the mound for the Phils. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, this guy pitched really well in his last outing, only allowing one run. If he brings that kind of stuff to the ballpark, he has a chance to pitch another gem in this one. Fastball swung on and missed, and the leadoff man has gone on strikes to start the afternoon. Settling in now, Miguel Rojas. His career numbers against Hector Neris. Two hits in seven tries. Harper has a read on it. Two gone. Here's Starling Marte. First at bat for him in this one. He was one for four with a double in the ball game last night. Two out, nobody on. Two balls, no strikes to the Miami center fielder. Coming down in buckets, cats and dogs, insert metaphor here, and the forecast is not showing any signs of relief. You know, one of the big issues is player safety, and right now this field is getting sloppy wet, Matt, and I don't know how much more rain this field can take. Ani pops it up, drifting just beyond the infield. Miller is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. Here's the center fielder, Odubel Herrera. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Liner in there for a base hit. Hey, you want to be the team on the attack without question. In the bottom of the first, started off with a leadoff single, gets everyone in your dugout going. So now to the plate, Brad Miller. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. These Marlins as they take the field this afternoon. They've been playing better than 500 baseball of late five and three in their last eight games. Yeah Maddie, when you get off to a slow start all you want to do is get back to that 500 number and you don't care how you get there. Well this team has done exactly that and today starts the first day. Good. Hopefully they find a way to get a win one game over 500 and everybody oh. is feeling good about the season from the belt kicks and deals. Lifts it into the air to shallow center. Here comes Marte. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Batting four. The catcher. Get team. Real Muto. And now it'll be the cleanup spot for the Phillies. JT Real Muto. It's been a really slow start to the season for him, as you can see by the April numbers on your screen. set and the pitch and he got him out in front that time strike one Herrera is off of first with two away a little quick on that swing and he finds himself behind 0 and 2. Working for the punch out and the offering. Swing and a line drive. But just foul. The 0 2 once more. Another one sent foul. Fouled off. Hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off. Maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. The 0-2 once more. And it's fouled away. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. One left for Philadelphia. And this is still a nothing nothing ball game. Second inning ahead from Cincinnati but first here's Heidi Watney with more on the forecast. 
Well, Matt, these conditions aren't really ideal for baseball right now, but I am hearing that they're expected to improve as the game progresses. The grounds crew told me between innings that the field's in good shape. They're going to continue to work on keeping it dry, but we should be in for more favorable weather later in the game. Heidi, thanks. And Dero, I'll send this one to you. As an infielder, these are games that can really challenge a player. At times, you have to stay focused, though. For me, a little dampness, a little rain, a little weather coming through might actually do the infield dirt a little good. Some guys like to keep it bone dry. I like it a little wet. Ball stays down. But there to take this one is the second baseman, and that's out number two. Garrett Cooper. And that'll bring in Garrett Cooper. A couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. No balls and a strike to count. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. You know, he's had a very economical start out there. Got through the first inning on just nine pitches. And he's got a chance to keep it in single digits again here in the second. Grounded to third. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Marlins. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Here's Didi Gregorius. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Good off-speed pitch. Had him out in front for strike one. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Grounded up the first baseline, but a foul ball, and the count holds it 0 2. Sanchez, it's a guy who throws a lot of strikes, rarely walks people, but what does bite him occasionally is the home run ball. Matt, this is a guy that's not a power type of pitcher, so he needs to rely on being down in the strike zone. One of the keys, he tends to lose being aggressive when he falls behind, and he kind of nibbles around the strike zone, and what happens with that, Matty V, he becomes very predictable, and when you don't have overpowering stuff, you tend to be able to get hit hard. Here's Bryce Harper now. Yes, he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. 276, the average coming in for him. Nine homers and a dozen RBIs. The wind up and the 0 1. Popped him up. Aguilar is there. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Batting seven. The first baseman. Three. Hoskins. Stepping up to the plate, Reese Hoskins. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Marte is under it. And that's the third out. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. We'll move to the third with no score. Late Brian Anderson. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. And it's quickly 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And another foul ball. Another 0 and 2 coming. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two seamer, and that's out number one. I think he kind of trained the hitter's eyes in that at bat. What I mean is, you'll find the first three pitches are all down around the knee. So, as a hitter, he's probably looking down there again, and that's the perfect time to raise his sights and make a good pitch up. But good hands over there at first, and that becomes out number two. That is not the pitcher. So stepping in, Sixto Sanchez. This guy's still looking at a zero in the hit column. Harper is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Miami down in order. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Here's Matt Joyce now. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. 
fouled away. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Uh, no plate discipline that time, and he's in the hole now, 0 and 2. Hey, I get it, you want to be aggressive, but man, these guys are swinging at everything. Pitch popped up. Rojas has a play. One out. Batting now to the plate, the pitcher, Hector Neris. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Liner towards second, but right to the second baseman, and that's the second out. Now batting. The center fielder. Oh, beautiful. Oh, Odubel Herrera to the plate now. One for one after a single this first time up. Now the pitch. High in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Well, he's got him in the palm of his hand now. It's 0-2. Usually you see chases outside the zone on off speed stuff like sliders breaking balls and change ups but to chase a fastball that far outside the zone threw it right past him a swing and a miss at the gas and that ends the inning Phillies down in order we'll head to the fourth still scoreless digging in to try it again John Birdie back to the top of the lineup as they're still looking for their first base runner in this one no doubt about that man they've yet to figure this guy out on the mound he's looked great so far he has but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything yeah it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game set to deliver on nothing in two here it comes fastball got him looking as that had two seam action on it, one gone. So after getting the strikeout on the fastball, not a bad time to check out our pitch speed comparison for our two starters. And whoa, look at that for a top speed. 98 miles an hour. That man is flat dealing. Joyce will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. Now that the center fielder, Starling Marte. Ready for another chance? Starling Marte. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. And a high strike there, 0 and 1. Behind 0 and 2 now. No runs, no hits, and no errors in the game for the Marlins. Again, he sends it out of play. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Chasing after it is Herrera. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the inning. One, two, three, go the Marlins. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. Digging in now, Brad Miller. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. The third baseman, Alec. Coming to the plate now, Alec Bone. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Good slider there, gets a swing and miss. Not shocked by their aggressive nature at the plate today, but they got to change their M.O. if they're going to compete in this one. Fielded cleanly. Throw to first will get him. Already two away here in the home court. Now batting. Catcher. Jackson. Real Muto. Now at the plate, J.T. Real Muto. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but a foul ball here, 0 and 1. No runs, just one hit, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Hit down the line at first. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Pops this one up. Rojas waits on it, makes the catch, and that'll retire the. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. 
Matt, during the commercial break, I had a chance to catch up with manager Don Mattingly about the Marlins' offensive production. And he was pretty blunt in saying they're just not having very good at-bats. They haven't had a single guy on base yet, so it's starting to feel a little desperate down here. But he said they've unfortunately just been faced with some really great pitching today. The key going forward is to find any way they can to get him out of his rhythm on the mound. Now, that may be a tall task, but they feel the little adjustments could lead to things turning around for them. All right, thanks, Heidi. Adam Duvall is in to start things off as he looks at a ball to start the inning. 1-0. Takes this the other way to right, and the Marlins have their first hit of the game. Just an unbelievable piece of hitting right there. Staying on the inner half of that baseball right there. Staying to it and through it. Not coming around it and able to drive it the other way for a base hit. Jesus Aguilar is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0-1. Behind 0-2 now. Just one hit apiece for both of these clubs. Rounded down the third baseline. Scooped up. The second for one. That was kind of a high degree of difficulty play that time. You see the off balance throw to the second base, and he couldn't get a lot on it, but they did get the out. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. It's a two-run shot to straight away left. Home run number three here in the early going. And the Marlins have taken a two-to-nothing lead. At the plate now, Brian Anderson. One ball, no strikes to count. There's still some game left to be played, but that one swing could end up being a deciding factor in this one. Anderson has had his trouble in these matchups, facing right-handed pitching, that is, and shows a lot more prowess against the southpaws. Ready on one and two. Here's a swing and a bouncing ball hits a Gregorius at short. And there are two away now. Now batter. The catcher. Ready now for the Marlins. Jorge Alfaro hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Ha started to go down after it and he couldn't hold back. It's strike one. Ha went after the high one there. A swing and a miss. I can't imagine he was sitting on. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three and that will retire the side. And we're back from Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia. Let's check in with Heidi Watney. Matt, I talked with Philadelphia's manager during the break about the Phillies' offensive production to this point. And he told me, overall, he's not happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They've only managed one base runner in this game, so it's easy to see why he said they haven't shown much fight today. He's hoping to see someone step up and find a way to get something going, though. This game isn't out of hand, so it remains to be seen if they can snap out of this funk and climb back into this one. Thank you, Heidi. And boy, was he ever fooled on that pitch. It's 0-2 now. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here, capitalize on the momentum his batters have. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. The next 0-2. The count is one and two. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or. The strikeout, and there's one gone. That's his second strikeout of the game. I wouldn't be surprised if a coach finds him in the dugout and gives him a little talk about shortening up and putting the ball in play. Good things tend to happen when you do that in these kinds of conditions. And Bryce Harper will dig into the plate. Pulled toward right center field. Marte is under it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Next to bat will be Reese Hoskins. And then it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three up, three down innings. 
No doubt about that, Matt. Hey, I've enjoyed watching him go about his business, but I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way to get a couple of cracks in his armor before it gets too late. Yeah, that remains to be seen. And a check swing here, but he pretty clearly broke the plane, and it's 0-2 now. Bases are empty here with two men out. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. They trail things here two to nothing. Now at the plate, Sixto Sanchez. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Sixto Sanchez. Here it comes. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. Popped him up. Real Muto is under it. Looks it into his glove and there's one gone. Up next for the Marlins. Digging in once again. John Birdie. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Strike one to start the at bat. Lined hard to center field. And he will run this one down. A good read off the bat for the second out. Well, we've mentioned the conditions aren't ideal with the rain coming down, and that can make every play a little bit of an adventure. You really have to concentrate, and he did there to haul it down. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And Hoskins is there to make the catch. The inning is over. Miami down in order. They're up two to nothing. Riding in once again, Matt Joyce will start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non-existent to date. No doubt about that, Matt. They've been completely overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they faced other than it's been fantastic? We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. Ready with the 0-2. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. Well, I'm shocked he even pulled the trigger on that pitch. He might have been fooled right there, but he was able to keep his hands back and scramble a good pitch for a base hit. Gene Segura will come on to pinch hit now with a runner at first and nobody out. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Again, another foul ball. And he fouls this one off. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. Swung on and miss. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Pitching 101 is changing location and upsetting the hitter's timing. You do that, and everything's going to be fine. In that strikeout, he never threw the same pitch twice in a row, and he won the battle because of it. Fouled off. A swing, and this one is blasted to right field. Nothing's going to stop it. And gone up into the second deck. Two runs on the board after that home run by Odubel Herrera. Sixth home run on the season for him as the Phillies have come back to tie this one at two. That ball was absolutely blasted. 113 miles an hour off the bat, according to show track. As you see the distance there, that's one that'll get people talking. The Into the 15. box now, Brad Second Miller. Yeah. On a line, that's a base hit. Miller. So now time will be called as we're going to get a visit from the pitching coach here as he'll hope to settle his guy down. To the plate now, Alec Bohm as the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. 
not an easy thing to do to fill up the strike zone and be successful doing it. How about this guy so far in this one? 100% of his first pitches have been for strikes. And boy, big problems here to start this at bat. It's 0-2 now. After that off-balance swing right there, you find yourself down 0-2 and wishing you were back on deck with the donut on your bat, visualizing hitting a home run. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. That's not an at-bat. He or his hitting coach are going to be happy now with it at all. Up. It's bad enough to go down on three pitches, but none of them were even in the strike zone. That's a bad look. In now, JT Wilmuto. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Now the 1 0. Man at first with two out in a 2 2 ball game. Now a ball lying toward the gap in left center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. Miller rounds the corner and is headed home. Safe at the plate as it's now a 3-2 ball game. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's left. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. Heart of the order. Three, four, five. Wait, Zach okay. Eflin is on the pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 56. Starling Marte is in to start things off here as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing and one. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel to that one. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Digging in and looking for more, Adam Duvall. He singled his last time up. Now a fastball a bit too low here. It's ball one. Swung on and missed. One and one. Here it comes. Popped him up. Hoskins has room in foul territory. Two down. Standing in, Jesus Aguilar. He hits with two away as they continue to trail in this close game. Well, Matt, this has been a big hitting on the mound. He's had to face the middle of the order, and so far he's held them at bay. Yeah, this feels like the kind of inning we'll look back on at the end of the game, even if the result of it changes dramatically here. And hold all tickets now as the tying run gets into scoring position with a two-out double. Standing in now, Garrett Cooper. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Mm, definitely had the distance, but it winds up a foul ball. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. 0-2, oh here it is. On the ground to the right side. A diving try, but it's through into the outfield. And they will hold that possible tying run at third, as even with two away, they decide to put the stop sign on. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. Brian Anderson is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. No problem with that take right there. First pitch from a reliever. Got to calibrate that velocity. He struck him out. In and out of trouble as the end. Next to dig in will be Bryce Harper. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. And it's fouled away. Harper. 0-1 oh, the count to Bryce Harper. Fouled away. And this is hit hard to the right side. Foul. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. 
Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt, man. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. Oh, for two for him to this point. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. This is on the ground over to first. He's got it. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. Not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. Here is a ground ball now for the shortstop to the right of second. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Ready to begin the eighth, and up next will be the big catcher, Jorge Alfaro. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Lifted into the air to shallow center. Miller will stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. Corey Dickerson will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. Dickerson was once a member of the club he matches up against in this one. He was signed as a free agent in the middle of last season. Yeah, Matty, you mentioned he's playing his former club, and that can get tricky sometimes. I don't know if he's going to dinner with these guys after the game, or he showed up here with an axe to grind. Hit back up the middle. Gregorius is there. And no chance on the throw here as he reaches first easily. And as I thought might be the case based on how close that play was, they're requesting a chance to review the replay and decide whether or not to challenge the safe call. So here's the signal from the bench, and they will indeed ask for that play to be reviewed. So the umpires will get on the horn with the replay operations center in Manhattan. And Okay, we're going to get one more look at it right here. Is there enough video evidence to overturn this call? You know, I think there is. The shot right there makes it look like the ball beat him to first. Looks like a well-used challenge. John Birdie stands in as he can't connect here. 0-1. Tying run at the plate, the 0-1. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. Hey, this is an amazing inning right here. Attacking the zone, keeping his defense invested. Chance to get off the field super quick. Oh, that hit him. Let's hope he's okay. No chance to make the play. Let's just hope he's okay on the mound. And time now to see quite where that got him. And it appeared from up here at least, and his actions on the field confirm it. It looked like it got him on its drive leg, which could be problematic, of course, for him. But from the way he's trying to walk it off, I think he's going to try to continue. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Runner goes for second. In there. Now the throw. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. It was pretty obvious he would likely be on the move with two outs, and I'm sure the defense knew it too. But he has lightning speed and was able to take the bag anyways. Herrera is there to make the catch, and they'll get out of this with the lead intact. So they pick up no runs on three hits, no errors, and one man left on. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. Phillies on top. Richard Blyer is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Andrew McCutcheon is going to grab a bat here as he looks to try to set the table in the bottom of the eighth as they look for some insurance. Swing and a miss as he was way in front of that one. And he's looking to get it going off to a bit of a slow start this year. Pops this one up. Rojas is there. And that's the first out of the inning. Here's a look at the final Down line back. for the Marlins Seven starting fielder. pitcher. And he'll Don't be very ball. happy with how the day Tom went. Vera. Well, this is one of those as a pitcher where you don't get rewarded for pitching well. He threw the ball great in this one. Didn't get much run support. He's in line for the loss. And he deserves a much better fate. He threw the ball pretty well in this one. Cooper is back to the warning track. And he's able to put it away for the second out. 
Now back. Second so base. striding in, Brad Miller. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Sky down the left field line. Long run for the left fielder. And no one will track it down. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. A good pitch there on 0 and 1 as this is hit foul over to the right side. Strike two now. This one, everything we could have hoped for. 3 to 2 in inning number eight. Swing and a ball sliced foul into the seats down the left field line. And he fouls this one off. The 0 2 once more. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Phillies down in order, and it remains a three. Ladies Matt Moore comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Here's the first pitch to him. Rolled slowly down the first baseline. Hoskins grabs it cleanly, and good hustle to get over and tag him for the out. The left field, the In now, Adam Duvall. He flew out in his last at bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the oh, yard this AB. The wind up and the 0 1. Grounder down the line at third. But this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. A wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Fouled off. And here's a changeup in there for a called third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. Marlins down to their final out now. And up next will be the power hitting first baseman, Big Jesus Aguilar. Knuckle curve down below the knees, 1 0. One and one now the count to the Marlins first baseman. High in the air deep down the left field line a ball that's carrying and no one will track it down Miami down to their last strike. Now a swing and a ground ball this should do it. Throw on to first will take care of him and the Phillies come back to even up this series at a game apiece as this ball game is over. A one run game this afternoon 3 to 2 the final